Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Gobbling Gourmet. Uh, tonight I was going to do a tabbouleh salad, but I had a sudden change in plan since I, I ran into Mark Brownstein, the food hunter, and I let him sample some leftovers from last week's episode of the chili. He whipped up a pretty cool little quick and easy but super delicious uh, breakfast for himself, so I was so impressed that I decided to use it for today's episode. I'd just like to say these, uh, these episodes are totally unscripted. I'm kind of making this up as I go along, so if I look like I'm at the loss of words, I'm trying to remember what I had thought about saying, but I don't think I'll ever actually write anything down because I just want to keep it spontaneous. We'll probably do some tabbouleh salad next week and probably include this in some future episode with some smoothies, and uh, I like to make popsicles out of my smoothies with a lot of different fruit. And I want to try one with chili moyets and season this time of year, and this stuff is awesome. But first, we're going to head over to Mark Brownstein's and check him out as he whips up a quick and easy uh, breakfast out of some leftover chili. And hopefully on it, he'll be doing a future episode for us with something a little more complex, but I'm trying to keep this show to a short uh, but sweet, uh, uh, what would you call it, <clears throat> time, because I don't want it to drag on too much. So, let's finish our tea and head over to Mark. He also gave me some uh, cardamom and taught me how to make this chai like they do in India using this and some ginger. So I'm going to try that out this weekend. Hopefully if it comes out as good as his, I'll throw it on the, one of these others. because I brought Mark uh, some chili left over from my last show for lunch so he could try it out. It's a little soupier than he's used to. So I gobbled mine down and now Mark's going to show us a quick way to use some leftover chili that I'm sure will be super delicious. It's bueno. Fried's pretty chingon. Mark's going to show us how to make something really delicious with leftover chili that's super quick and super delicious. The sauce is soupy, but there's a little piece of pork stuck in there. Well, actually, I ate most of the chunks in the last few days. <laughs> there was a bunch of in there, but I ate most of them. But I'm curious to see what you're going to do with it here. What kind of tortillas are you going to throw in there, Marcus? Corn tortilla. Oh. What kind of oil are you going to uh, just It's a palm oil. It's okay. It's, it's not a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have put that in something else, but I told her I was going to stain the Tupperware, so I threw it up. So she gave me that instead. You can probably pour it. This is called enchilada on the fly. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> enchilada scrappy dough. I hope you're going to throw in a little cheese on the subject. Just a little cheese. Those tortillas look different. Yellow cheese. Yeah, it's kind of like just a, a homemade, uh, homemade tortilla. Homemade corn tortillas. Yeah. 
gonna do a little egg uh, on top. Oh no, I'm slipping on the box truck. And she made a... Molly made a... Molly made these like little tea sandwiches with the, uh, with the bud. It was great. It went very nice with like some other kind of items. Trader Joe's. Chili came in handy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, food hunter. Can I have a bite? Cheers. Of course. I'll share. Happy it's to fun share. to share. That little soft cheese was uh, a little bit of ricotta, huh? Oh, you know what? Sure. I made spetta in there. Oh, cool. Nice. Ow. I dropped some in here. Thanks. Oh, great. Yopi, though, don't drop a lot, Mark. Pleasure. And we look forward to hopefully doing an episode in the near future. We'll do something a little bit more complicated next time, I think. Mean. Okay. Yes, we can.